right, I'm on the set of Dawn Inference today, and in continuance of that city commissioner's race upcoming, I have Trace Rowe in the house with me today. Trace! Hello. Good to have you it's here. It's good to be here. Well, it's good to see you here, and I appreciate you coming in. It's one of my goals is to get all of the candidates right. on for just a little, hey, how you doing, what are you about of kind course. of segment. So we're out further ado, we'll get started on that. Now, Trace, first of all, I want you to tell me a little bit about your background. You're a Cushing guy. I am. I, uh, I graduated in 1994 from Cushing High School here. Um, had a great high school experience uh, here in town. I uh, actually moved to Cushing in 1989 with my family. I was uh, in the eighth grade. And, um, you know, I, I grew up here and uh, eventually moved away. Um, Went over to OSU um, and down to Carl Albert State College, both, uh, for a period of time. And um, went on to work and uh, got into the telecommunications field and traveled all over the United States, uh, climbing towers and um, doing construction okay. management and things. I'm going to stop at that for just for a second on this climbing towers that you just kind of passed over. Right. I think it takes a lot of guts to climb a tower. So just so people get a perspective of climbing a tower, Okay. what's the highest tower you've climbed? <laughs> 2,063 feet. That's what I'm talking about, folks. So yeah. you're, you're a little bit of a daredevil. Well, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's all about perspective. Um, once you get up, uh, <laughs> yeah. once you get up a little higher, it's, uh, it's all the same it's from there the same. all the way to the top. Yeah. Yeah, so. Is that anything like, you know, once it's, I don't know, 11 degrees outside, if it might as well be becomes, two one degree yeah. or a negative, negative 10. Right. It's all the same. Okay, Absolutely. I'll go with that theory. Absolutely. It's all the same. It's all about perspective. But let me tell you, that's some lofty heights. It's, yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time in my life. Uh, you know, I learned a lot of things and got to see a lot of places. Um, saw the way that other people live. Um, saw some good communities and uh, met a lot of good people that, that taught me a lot of things uh, just about life in general. Um, Moved to Atlanta and lived there for quite a while. I was uh, in project management and construction management in the telecom world. Met my wife there, mm -hmm. um, and we decided we, you know, we uh, started a family, and we decided we didn't really want to raise our son in Atlanta. So uh, we we moved back to Oklahoma. I, I switched jobs, uh, switched companies, and got a job working out of Tulsa. And, when we were looking around, we, we looked at the places we wanted to live and uh, decided, you know, we could live anywhere, but I wanted to wanted to move back to Cushing. I, I love the city. Um, my mother's still here. So, um, moved back here and have been here since. We moved back in uh, in 2000. And, yeah, I've been the here since. The rest is history. Yeah. It, it, um, you know, now, watched. you're very involved in youth sports in the community for, you know, people watching that may not realize that. I am. I am. You know, I, I coached uh, my oldest son through baseball. Uh, he's now a freshman in high school. But uh, when he was uh, coming up through the baseball ranks, I, I coached him. Uh, I coached youth football. Uh, with him as well. I, I have another son now, he's 10, so he's in the fourth grade. And I coach fourth grade football and baseball and um, yeah, so it's, uh, so it's a good experience. So you're involved with the uh, youth center here in town and not just involved, but you're also on the board? Correct? I am. I am. I've been on the board of directors down at the youth center for uh, over five years now. I, I was actually trying to think back how long it's been and um, I know it's been over five years. I'd have to check with uh, with Mike Wilson to see exactly yeah. how long I've been there. But um, that's a great experience. You know, it's a uh, it's a good group of people, and we've seen some people come and go, and um, we've had new people come in, and um, it's really given us a good perspective on uh, on the kids and keeps us focused that it is about the kids and mm -hmm. at, at that uh, at that age, and you know, sports should really be that way and not, not about anything right. else. So. Well, I think the youth center is one of our, should be one of our biggest highlights in town because youth, that is our future. Absolutely. And so we have got to have a very structured youth program of sorts and the youth center has been that vehicle for years since I was a kid here Oh, and in Cushing. The youth center was the cool place to Right. Go. When I moved here, it was uh, that was actually one of the big things that attracted uh, my family. When we moved here originally in 1989, we got this nice brochure and it showed us all these things that Cushing had and the youth center was highlighted on it. Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow, a place where I can just go and right. play basketball whenever yeah. I want to inside. And Oh, it was wonderful. It's very uh, important to yeah, our youth. I agree. Now, let's move on and uh, talk about why you have decided to run for city commissioner. Well, you know, I, I think the biggest reason that, uh, that I'm running is I want to be able to serve the community that is, has done so much for me. You know, I, I grew up here and I, 
I know a lot of folks that, uh, that are still around from, from when I was young and I want to be able to give back and, and be of service to those folks. Um, you know, I want to be able to, to offer a, a fresh perspective on, uh, on issues of the, of the day and, and I want to return Cushing to a, a place where people want to be. Yeah. Um, you know, whether that being here is for one day if you're just coming in to visit or if you're here for a baseball tournament out of our, our great complex that we have out there and you're here for the weekend or, you know, if you decide to move back here like I did with my wife, uh, you know, I want it to be a place where people want to be and are happy to be and things are beautiful around and it's, uh, you know, it can get back there. And that's yeah. really probably the, the biggest reason is that I want to serve and, and take us back to that place if I can. Well, Trace, what do you feel like you could bring to the table with the commissioner? Well, I think the biggest thing is um, when you look at something, a lot of times you're, you're too close to it and you, you know, it's uh, not seeing the forest for the trees right. almost, that kind of a... So, that want, actually happens to me a lot, I, <laughs> in everyday I, life. I, I want to be able to give, uh, put fresh eyes on things and give, uh, give a fresh perspective and, you know, I don't think that you have to always agree um, mm -hmm. as commissioners. It's, for me, it's more about... Well, it's good to have all those bearing opinions. Absolutely, absolutely. And if debate, everybody thought the same, we wouldn't, we wouldn't move to do the things differently. Right. You're exactly right. And, and I think that uh, healthy debate is good. Yes. Um, I don't think that everyone has to agree all the time because you're not going to please everyone all the time. Right. But I think it's good to, to be able to pull those perspectives in and have those discussions. Because if you're afraid to have those discussions and you're not willing to go to the place and say, look, I don't agree and here's right. why, right. you know, um, then you're not really doing any service to anyone. Right. You're, you're taking up space. Uh -huh. And I, I want to be able to, you know, work hard and get in there and, and really dig in and, and see what things are and offer offer my views, I guess, is probably the, the best way to put it. What's a goal that you would have for the community that you would like to see fulfilled? A goal for the community as a whole? As a whole, I think that, uh, you know, we're really pressed on our on our water system. That's a, that's a huge deal for me. Water, sewer. Um, Everyday life. Electric utilities. I mean, it's, and I think of it this way, um, there are a lot of plastic surgeons out there that can make people look great on the outside. You can do a lot of things and say, oh, th that's beautiful, you know? But if the veins and the bones aren't well taken care of, then it just looks good on the outside and it crumbles from the inside out. Right. And I really think that the, uh, you know, the infrastructure of the city, getting that modernized and up to the point where it's reliable all the time. Right. Um, we don't have to patch things. We can right. repair it, fix it, and be done with it for another 50 years. Right. Um, I, and I really think that the, the Band-Aid is not, not the way to go. So I, I, I think that's probably my biggest goal, um, repairing infrastructure. And, and, and not putting a Band-Aid. And not putting a Band-Aid on it. To fix it and, uh, and then go on for, yeah. you know for 50 years until it has to be done right. again, but make it right. And things do have to be done They do. Again. They, they, they have to, they have to yeah. be replaced. Things I mean, have to be revisited and improvements absolutely. have to be made. Absolutely. Now, let me ask you this. We're getting ready to come up on the 2015 Candidates Forum. Right. Would that be something that you would participate in this year? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I welcome anything like that. I think any time that the public has a chance to hear from the candidates and, you know, ask questions even and, and bring their issues and they have a chance to, to put them in front of the people that they're going to be voting for, they're going to be representing right. them and working for them. I yeah. mean, you, you have to open yourself up to those things. So, yeah, absolutely. That's something I really look forward to. So, with that being said, how did you feel about the first town hall meeting, the Cushing conversations yeah. that uh, Commissioner Amon and Commissioner Brandon had? I thought it was, that's a great idea, and I, I really think that having the, the sitting commissioners come back and put themselves in front of the people um, in, in a forum like that, in a, in a way that it's not at City Hall and you're not in a meeting. You know, it's, it's the two guys and they're talking as people. They're, they're your elected representatives. I think that the commissioners putting themselves out there in that forum is absolutely the way to go. Well, it's a very relaxed forum yeah. and it's something that anyone in the audience can literally stand up and ask a question. You know, we don't, I don't think we get enough of that. Right. I really, really don't, and therefore the community starts to feel closed off or right. isolated from our city government. Right, and that goes back to the healthy debate that right. I was that we were talking about earlier. 
the debate that you have to have, people have to be able to express their opinions. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're not willing to let them express their opinions or don't give them a forum right. to, then they are shut off. Mm -hmm. And you're ruling from a commission that has no perspective. So I, I absolutely agree with those forums, and I think that that's the way to go, and I hope it continues. So since you're, you're running for a commission, how do you plan on being obtainable to the people? Do you have a Facebook page? I or? do, actually. My Facebook page right now, it's uh, facebook.com slash electracerow. Okay. Um, so people could go on that page? Absolutely. It's and there. It's, ask questions of yeah. you, and then could people call? They could, yeah. You know, my phone number, uh, I'm, I'm very... <laughs> Very accessible. Uh, 918 306 1017. I give that out pretty freely. Um, I'm available all the time. I, you know, I, I have a regular job, so I work during the day. Got leave a day me job. a message, and yeah. leave me a message, and I'll get back to you. I'll listen well, to it. And you know, you're going to need a day job because city commissioner doesn't pay. <laughs> right. Right. Well, that's okay. That's okay. It's, that's okay. That's okay. It's, uh, well, Trace Row, what seat are you running for? Seat number one. Seat number one, right, and correct. you'll hear more from Trace Row as we do the candidates forum, and also check him out on Facebook. Give him a call. Get engaged and figure out who your next commissioners are going to be. Trace, thanks so much for coming on. Thank you. I, I would encourage people to get out and vote. Just Absolutely. get out and vote. Do your thing. All right. More of Donna and Friends coming up next. watching RDMG TV.